Let's check out your dancing feet, all right? <laughs> Kathleen Sarns is not a typical nurse. You can ring my bell. You go into somebody's home, it's not just about meds and bandages. Music's a big part of your care, why? Music is something that really speaks to me as a person, and I kind of pass that along to my patients. What kind of songs did you like to sing? Blue Moon. Blue Moon. Kathleen has been a nurse for over a decade, and the last few years as a hospice nurse for the Visiting Nurse Service of New York. Am I supposed to be morose? Am I supposed to be sad? But I really found that just being me was the way to go. Without a love of my own. You might say it's in her genes. Her grandmother, Verlene, was blessed with a beautiful voice. I always thanked my grandma for teaching me. Singing a song someone knows can really help them. She looked at me and she said, I want you to remember one thing. The people you're taking care of, they weren't always sick. They were just like you. Words she now lives by. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. What is the reaction you get when you sing to your patients? A smile is the biggest one for me. For nine months, Kathleen has been the hospice nurse for Billy Caputo, a former WWE referee. One of his favorites, John Denver. To the place I belong, West Virginia. Nursing isn't just giving medications. You're catering to a person's mind, body, and spirit. And you feel like that music takes their mind, transports them back to a happier time or place. Right, and the stress lines fade from their forehead, and they're, they're there. Oh, we move it, oh, we move it, oh, we move it. <laughs> You're hitting the high notes there. Yeah, I'm trying. Billy's daughter, Kate, believes music is a big part of keeping her dad going. You didn't know if you were going to have your dad around for Christmas. We didn't think we were going to have him through the summer. I mean, there, yeah. We, Do you think music is extending his absolutely. life? Absolutely. Uh, without question. Who put the bump in the bump, the bump, the bump? Who put the ram in the ram, a lemma, ding dong? What do you notice physiologically when you're singing to a patient? Physiologically, music can be very helpful in lowering the heart rate, lowering blood pressure. The other night, dear. It helps to build rapport with people, and if you have that rapport, they're going to be more likely to adhere to the plan of care that you give them. Studies suggest patients receiving hospice care say music reduces pain and curbs anxiety. Researchers are now exploring music's potential impact on neurological diseases. You are my sunshine. Kathleen is hitting all the right notes with her patients. Please don't take my sunshine away. This is just something that has worked for me. Her range amazes me. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. He like a human jukebox. Made. Those were the days. Even as we drive around Staten Island. Hello, darling. This is Louie, darling. It's so good to have you back where you belong. Wow. When you sing, it's so believable. It's so earnest and organic and honest and all those wonderful things that it's contagious. Music is not just for Kathleen's patients. It's also what she says feeds her soul. You and I both have a wonderful uh, anxiety situation and music has changed my life. How does it help you? Music has been the one thing that's always been there for me. Being three years old and just singing Billy Joel into my little cassette recorder, you have these thoughts that are racing and racing and racing and music just slows the whole world down. When you're feeling anxious, it can just calm everything. And what calms her down is not what you'd expect. How does listening to heavy metal or songs like Metallica or Iron Maiden, how does that help you? Music that somebody might think would be anxiety right. music Intense. can actually quell the anxiety. Take my hand, lost to never, never land. <laughs> Sometimes it's not easy to get up in the morning and to get going and to go and to see patients and everything. If you're nervous, you scream out some metal lyrics, you know, whatever it takes. For them, you want to be a place of peace. So I'll see you next week, okay? So long, next Wednesday, farewell, I'll be the same. I do, I do, I do to you and you and you. You must feel lucky to have a nurse like Kathleen. Blessed. We got Kathleen for a reason, and I truly, truly believe, I'm going to get upset, that he wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. Definitely.
When their face goes from like, you know, this, and then all of a sudden you get a big smile, how could you not want to do that for them? Ugh. By the way, Billy recently celebrated his 72nd birthday, and whether he's singing with Kathleen there or listening to his own music, his family does say they do see a big difference in his blood pressure and his pain management. And Kathleen, as you can see there, is just an absolute saint. Mm -hmm. And we're starting to see a lot of this. The um, National Institutes of Health, yeah. NIH, is, is, is your marking $20 million over the next five years to create the relationship what? between music therapy and neuroscience right. to see if they can start to create wow. some symptom relief from things like PTSD and Parkinson's and um, well, I loved what Kathleen's yeah. grandmother said. She said that they weren't always sick. Yeah. Like, yeah. what a mm -hmm. reminder, because some, you know, for anybody, but that was beautiful. Carson, yeah. that's so you. This that whole great, series yeah. is yeah, great. What's awesome. coming up next? So we found an orchestra that's incredible, 60-seat orchestra that is made up of people with uh, some mental struggles, and it's started by a, a famed conductor who's a special person and his wife, and they've just got this, they're creating these stigma-free zones for people wow. to, to go in, share their art, and it's, uh, it's yeah. contagious. It's growing. Love it. Love, Love it, Carson. That's, That's tomorrow? That's tomorrow.